Lauren, let's go. I thought we were going to go out for ice cream. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to cleanse my data, and it's taking so much longer than I thought. And I'm trying to learn Python, and it's just not going well. Well, why? Google has a managed service for this called Data Prep. Let me show you. Let's get right into the data prep tool. If you're using the data prep for the first time, accept the approvals and give it a couple of seconds to load. We can start by creating a flow, give it a name and description and click create. You have the option of importing data either from your local machine, Google Cloud Storage or BigQuery. For this demo, we are going to use Cloud Storage Bucket. I have preloaded a few ice cream sales datasets into cloud storage. This is the dataset I will use for the data prep flow. Click on the dataset you want to begin the transformation with and click on edit recipe. A recipe contains a sequence of steps that transforms the selected dataset into a new dataset. The Wrangle language is used to create recipes. Uh-oh, Wrangle language? Am I still gonna have to learn another programming language? Actually, no. Wrangle language is a lot like formulas you see in Google Sheets. And you don't have to write it on your own. A lot of it is auto-generated for you. Whew. Okay, good. Let's keep going. For this demo, we will build tasks performed by data analysts regularly like cleansing, structuring, and enriching. As you can see, this is the basic view of how data looks across different columns and rows. After looking at data, you might see some mismatch values in red for one of the columns. Upon clicking it, you might realize that something was wrong with the data, in this case, the add symbol in the number field. The tool also gives you some auto suggestions for this column to choose from. I'm going to fix this column by using a value given to me by the business analyst for a typical serial number. Split by delimiter allows you to separate values in the same column by a delimiter, in this case, the forward slash. I'm going to rename these columns now for better understanding. We can also easily join multiple datasets in just few clicks. Let's join two datasets with one of the existing datasets that we have loaded in the flow. Type ID is automatically detected as the join key, and you can choose which column you want to display for both the datasets post the join function. To hide a column, simply right click on the column and hide it. Similarly, I'm going to be joining one more dataset using flavor ID to further enrich my data. Changing data types is super simple as well. Let's remove the percentage symbol from the profit margin percentage column and convert it into integer data type. Lastly, let's apply some custom logic to create a new data column. The case function allows you to perform multiple conditional tests on a set of expressions with a statement. Here, I'm going to define a range of profit sentiments from low, medium, and high based on the ranges of the value they might fall in. After these steps, my pipeline is now ready to run. I'll select a couple options for how I want my results to be stored. I can also choose if I want the job to run manually or scheduled, and voila, we can run the job. Wow, this is really cool and easy. Once I create the recipes, I can run the jobs anytime and I don't even need to learn Python. Absolutely. Can we now eat our ice creams? Don't forget to subscribe for more great Google Cloud Platform content. Thanks for watching.